We have made our triumphant return to the modern era. Ba -na -na -na. And we're going to only stay here for this episode. Yep. Before we go back to the past. Well, not a whole lot you could do here, honestly. Yeah. Too much drama in the modern era. <laughs> That's for true. Anyways, hello, welcome to this week's episode of Jared and Al Watch Inuyasha. It is episode number 38. I'm Jared, joined as always by Doc Al and Ladium. Hello. We are discussing season 2, episode number 11, or episode 38, entitled Two Hearts, One Mind. Time Life Presents <laughs> The Classics from an era defined by love. With such hits like Two Hearts, One Mind <laughs> by Moroku and the Boys. Oh my god. <laughs> the boys are just Shippo and Sango. Kira Araz on tambourine. It's good. So yeah, uh Kagome's home. Yep. And mad. She's she's very angry. She's trying to have breakfast with the fam. Grandpa's like why are you so mad? We're having breakfast for once. And she's like, mm. Yeah, because uh, uh, her brother, uh, what's his Sota. name? Yeah. He's like, can you pass the soy sauce? And she's like, no, you have you arms got, that work. You got arms, do it yourself. He's like, like, yo, sis, what the heck? Because the soy sauce is all the way across the table from him. I have small arms. I'm a child. Please help me. So what did her shirt say? Hang on, I gotta go through the... Sham. Go through her, sham. Her sham shirt that she has two of. Two sham shirts. Two sham shirts, but they have a cat on them. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I would wear that. Yeah, speaking of cats, I'm going to look at a cat right now. Ah! <laughs> yep, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, yeah, she's she's back home. She's not happy. The rest of the family's just like, what? And then her mom's just like, she's a teenager, so if it's not money, it's boy trouble. Ooh. And the, the other two are just like, okay. <laughs> Uh, so she goes to school, yep. and her friends are very excited to see her, and they're very happy that she's gotten over her inferiority complex. <laughs> she's like, oh, God, grandpa's run out of actual issues, so now he's giving me mental issues. They're like, Where's, oh, man, we've got trouble, Kagome. There's been developments on your front. And they, like, lead her to, like, some bushes to see uh, Hojo and this, like, seventh grader, I guess? Seventh grader. Walking and talking. It's like... What, I can't believe this. This girl's getting up in your business. This this hussy. <laughs> She's like 12. This hipster. This hipster. <laughs> Which I don't know how they're using hipster in like what the early 2000s. Which that was not how that that word was used at that point. Yeah, that was a very different I conversation. Like we, <laughs> I feel like this is like a deep fake and someone just like <laughs> redubbed this and is trying to use modern language here. <laughs> I'm very concerned. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's the same meaning, but that was wild. Hipster. So yeah, her friends are very upset about this. And, and they go Kigomi's to McDonald's. Like, Kagome's like, okay, I don't really care. It's whatever. He can do what he wants. That's, I mean, we're not seeing each other. It's whatever. It's like, oh, what does you, this mean? If you are you seeing care, someone else? You have a boyfriend if you don't care. She's like, no, I don't. He's just a real jerk and everything. I, I can't believe him. He's real mean. I'm like, well, that means there is someone. She's like, eh. what? gotta go by the bell time. Class. Class is happening. <laughs> Gotta run. I actually care about class right now. Mm-hmm. For the first time ever. The only time ever. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, in the feudal era, Moroku is, is giving out fortunes to people. <laughs> he's reading By their touching palms. their palms. And is just flirting with, with girls. And saying that, like, they they will have babies with somebody they meet soon or something like that. He he is just big horny and Songo and Chippo are just back there just like <sighs> He's acting like a pervy old man. <sighs> and then on the flip side, Indiosh is just brooding because he's mad and doesn't want to go apologize and Kaede's like Ye, ye are dumb, <laughs> you stupid ye. You ye must go apologize to your <laughs> Your <laughs> Ye stop being dumb. And then you're just like, 
Uh, and then also Baroku and Sango are having a conversation like, well, we can't. Or I think Baroku's like, don't go and spy on him. We, he, he'll he go eventually to the well and go back to the time and get K- K- Kagome. Um, but we can't go and like pressure him and watch over him because then he'll just freak out and not do it. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. <laughs> Uh, and then eventually he sneaks off and, and goes into the well. Yes, Inuyasha does. Yes, Inuyasha does. Uh, he goes back to Kagome's place, and she's not there because she's at Wack Donald's with her friends getting berated because she's <laughs> talking about Inuyasha, and there's like, he's a psychopath. What are you doing? You, you, you can do better than this guy. He's a dangerous bad boy. And she's like, huh? What? I don't, okay. Um, but Inuyasha goes to her house, and uh, so does there. He's like, Whoa, Inuyasha, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm just trying to pack in to see you could go away. He's like, wow, oh, she's real mad still, being a real dummy about it. Anyways, that's real messed up. And then as soon as like they're having the conversation, Kagome comes home. And she's like, I am home. And, he, and so it's like, whoa, guess who dropped? <laughs> and Inuyasha runs away. He's like, look, he, I was never here. You cannot say that I was here. This is a man-to-man promise. Yep. And so it's like, whoa, cool. <laughs> I love band to man promises. And then Kagome goes into her room and is like, Soto, why are you in my room? And he's like, I can't tell you. It was a band to man promise. It just runs out. <laughs> she goes and to take like, like a green water bath after that. And she's like, what? <laughs> I don't <What>? get it. <laughs> yeah, she goes and takes her green water bath. And is like, maybe I was mean. Maybe I was too harsh on Inuyasha. Maybe I got to go back. Anyway, he's got to go to school the next day. I also remember I'm I'm like going through a text to remember the the flow of this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, when Inuyasha goes back, he starts like kicking dirt at the well. Yes, he skips. He kicks dirt at the well, and you were like, "That's how dogs cover their poop." Yep. And also, he does that while the three the three or the four are watching him. Like Songo and Shippo are like sitting there, and they're like. Oh, he's back. I can't believe it. Oh, he that doesn't seem like it's good. He probably did something dumb. And then you see behind them is Baroku with like a tiny leaf umbrella. He's like, oh, that's Inuyasha. Like, ah, I love like, making, watching him be stupid. Yeah. That's like, wait a minute. You told us not to come and watch. He's like, yeah, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yes, uh, Kagome goes to school the next day. And is just doing her thing, and uh, Hojo was like, "Hey, it's nice to see you're here. I haven't seen you in like thirty years. It's wild. Anyways, you want to go to the movie Saturday and catch up? That'd be real fun." And Kagome's like, "I was thinking about going back to the feudal era this weekend. I don't know how to let this guy down easily." And then her friend's like, "Yes, you would love to go to the movies. It would be very nice. I think you should do this. It'd be really good. You should uh, definitely do this and not hang out with weird bad boys. Definitely do this instead. Yep. What are you doing?" And Kagome's like. Uh, okay, I would, I'll go to the movies. I'm not being held hostage against my will <laughs> or anything. Um, to be fair, the way that she describes Inuyasha is terrible. Yes. And, and it does sound like an abusive situation. And yes. her friends are trying to help her. Yes. Um, this is a real bad miscommunication. <laughs> oh, definitely. But they're at least trying to help. They're, it's coming from a good spot in their hearts. They are. They're like, they just ye- they basically yelled at her like, you can do better than this guy. Come yeah. on. <laughs> you deserve better. And to be fair, he is being a brat. Yes. And is also like in love with a dead girl. Yes. So there is that. They're also just like teenagers at heart. Yeah, they're both 15. And are going to be very dumb. Yeah, like she's 15 and he's like, 15 and the human equivalent of like whatever he is yes yeah yeah so um i was dumb at 15 same so who wasn't dumb at 15 i i doubt that there are many people who are not dumb at 15 so it's true it's just the way life goes yep uh so yeah kagomi has that to mull over and then Meanwhile, in the feudal era, Shippo drags uh, Inuyasha to go see Kaede because he's like, all right, I'm going to go with his plan. We're going to get you a way to apologize to Kagome, but I'm going to do the talking and act like it's, you know, about a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So that way she won't know it's about you and Kagome. It'll be about my friend. That way you'll be in the clear. You just got to come and hang out. It's cool. (laughs) And he's like, okay. (laughs) So 
Shippo decides to do this very elaborate drawing sequence of his story about the dog, the wolf, and the cat. It's and a it's fantastic just, series of it's art. It's really good. And it's just a retelling of what we just talked about like the last episode. Yep. But just with Shippo's very good drawings. And Kaidi's like, oh, yes, I believe the dog should go apologize to the cat and make things right. That would be the best thing. And then like, and you're just like, what do you mean apologize? And, and Kaidi's like, <laughs> Why are you ye getting angry? This is not about ye. This is about Shippo's friend. What? I believe. <laughs> Why are ye whining? Yes. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, I'll sit back down. Yeah, uh, what's it about me or anything? Yeah, and then she like finishes her 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 advice, and he's like, all right, I guess I'm gonna go leave now. <laughs> and then afterwards, like Shippo and Kaede just like smile at each other. <laughs> so he uh, so Inuyasha goes back again. And Kagome is trying to do homework and stuff, and Shippo's like, not Shippo, uh, Soda's in her room just hanging out. Is like, has the cat's arms straight up? <laughs> yeah, just hanging out with the cat. He's like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> just chill it. And uh, Kagome gets mad at one point, and she's like, and he's like, why do you gotta bite off people's heads all the time? It's real mean. Anyways, I'm gonna take the cat and go. Be see you later. And then she's like, I guess I'm going to go to bed and study in the morning because I can't concentrate. I'm going to leave the lights on while I sleep, too. Sets her alarm clock. <laughs> For, like, an hour later. And she's also like, man, I love my bed. It's so comfortable. That's a JK, lie. I love sleeping on the floor. I love outside. sleeping on the ground with Inuyasha watching me. It's like, what? Then speaking of, speaking of, Inuyasha shows up. He's like, oh, she's asleep. Blech. And then in her mind, she's she's like, Inuyasha. She's like, she's dreaming about me. And then she goes, sit. And then he goes, blah, blah. Blop. He's like, this, her dream is my nightmare. <laughs> oh, man. And it, uh, he leaves behind little prints because, he does. Oh, oh, that's the alarm the goes alarm, off. The alarm, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> and runs away. And then she's like, oh, Inuyasha was here. I saw his little paw prints. Okay, so the question here is, did he just sit there the whole time waiting for her to wake up? Or did she set her alarm wrong and it went off early? Like, I feel like she set her alarm off wrong. Okay, because I was like, what? what is happening here? Because she literally just fell asleep and then it goes off. Yeah. And I so know. I was like, is he, just, kid. is he just sitting there like watching her sleep the whole time waiting for her to wake up? Or like, I what? mean, that sounds like something a dog would do. It's true. So, could be. Either way, he goes back and is just, like, real sad. She sees the prince. Mm -hmm. She's like, he was here. And then Kagome goes back after telling Hojo that she can't, she can't go with him. But he should take the seventh grader. And he's like, oh, what do you mean? That's silly. Why would you be jealous of, me, of this? Ah, that's real funny. Ha, ah, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> just he slides just, away. He just slides backwards away from her. Real weird. <laughs> it's like a weird backwards electric slide that he does. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, I'm outie. Goodbye. Uh, so yeah, she goes back to the the feudal era, and she's gonna go over to apologize to Inuyasha. Inuyasha apologizes first, but it's only for breaking the alarm clock because he doesn't have anything else to apologize for. Nope. So and she's gonna wreck him. Yeah, and then <laughs> the parents show back up. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. He's trying his best. I love that Sanko and Maroku, like, each get an arm, like, knowing yeah. that she's going to beat the crap out of him. And she was like, ah! They're like, he's trying his best. He's been real sad and moody and brooding and sighing a lot. Look, he's trying. And then you're just like, wait a minute, what do you mean? Have you been spying on me this whole time? <laughs> and at one point during this whole scuffle, okay, and he's like, you must forgive him. Yep. Which I was like, when did Kaede show up? It's a it's a real mess. <laughs> it's such a mess. But that's basically how we end our episode with just Inuyasha chasing after the parents. Oh man, that was funny. It's real good. Uh, we have no notes or trivia for this episode, so that's it. Heck. Heckity heck. I just wonder how how Hojo has learned how to slide out of rooms like that. He wears heelys, and he's mastered the art of sliding or heeling backwards. Man, he was just actually on a skateboard the whole time, and he just skateboards backwards out. <laughs> you just don't see the skateboard because it's not relevant. I think that's true. 
It's like the the boxes. And I was just thinking that. I was about to make. I was about to make the hey, boxes are real in nowadays <laughs> joke. <laughs> oh man, brainwave, brain Single cell, shared, no. brain cell. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh man. This was a fun episode. It was. <laughs> I'm glad we got to see Hojo, and we probably go to see him again in what, like, 30 more episodes. He'll, be, yeah. he'll show up again. So that'll be like June next year. And then we'll be like, all oh, right, Hojo exists. All right, who's this Hojo guy? Oh, all right, that guy. And then we'll forget about him immediately after he leaves. Yeah. Whoops. I can't wait for the Hojo arc and uh, the the sequel show. Oh God. It's just how he just he... shows up for one episode. He's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, hey! <laughs> slides back. He's like in his 30s now, just ready to slide. Salary man. Yeah, I mean. Slides back, though, still. <laughs> Always oh, on man. the skateboard. Yep. Uh, next, next time, we will be discussing season two, episode 12, episode 39, titled Trapped in a Duel to the Death. Exclamation point. Which sounds very bad. Very bad. So yes, that's what we'll talk about next time. But that's going to do it for us. So if you'd like more, head on over to SeasonalAnimeCheckup.com or SAC.cool. It's where you can find past episodes of this podcast and other podcasts like Seasonal Anime Checkup, OVA. You can also find columns and reviews on the site as well. If you'd like more from Anladium, go to Anladium.com. She's got columns and reviews. You can follow us on Twitter and TikTok at AnimeCheckup. And you can buy our books, One Shiny Moment, a critical analysis of Love, Life, Sunshine, and Hot Tubs and Pac-Man on Amazon.com. Mm-hmm. So join us next time for a big old duel to the death. And also, have a good Christmas or just holidays or whatever you want to celebrate at the end of December. Yay! Yay.